ladies and gentlemen, and peasants all around the world, it is I, the benevolent, the magnificent, the extraordinary, his golden wonderment, King Leon the Sixth. Stop clapping. Sorry, Mickey. It has been brought to my attention that I am going to be wrestling that scoundrel Dick Lane at RWA's Night of Appreciation on February 3rd. Now, Dick Lane is all I know. Wait, what's happening, my face? What is going on? Ladies and gentlemen of the Kingdom of Mirja and peasants all around the world, it is I, the beautiful, the majestic, the div... It's not the point. I, I'm in the middle of something here. Can, do, do you mind just going? That'd be wonderful. Going? I have to talk about my match and stick lane at our WA Night of Appreciation. No, 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 no. I am fighting Richard Lane on February 3rd at our WA Night of Appreciation. That is the point of what I'm doing here. That's what you're doing here. That is what I'm doing here. Talking about my match against Stick Lane. No, this is my match. I'm tell I am the beautiful, the majestic. This is my match. It is, it is made to me. Made to you? It was made to me, King this, Leonis. Okay. All right, we're getting ahead of ourselves here. Wait. King to king. Yes. I, I promise you this, this is my match. It must be some interdimensional transporter. I don't know what's going on here. Yes. Yes, it is my match. Ask the squire. Squire, is this true? Please, these guys. It is my king. Unbelievable. How did you yes. mess this up? Honest mistake. It happens. It happens when you're beautiful like me. Well, uh, do you mind if I get back to what I'm doing here? Yes. Yes, yes. yes wonderful. Okay. Yes. Okay, be gone. Off with your head. <laughs> <laughs> okay. As I was saying, Richard Lane. February 3rd, RWA Night of Appreciation. It would be you, the meta villain superhuman, versus me, the beautiful one himself. Stop rapping. By the end of the night, you will understand what a true supervillain is. <laughs> Off with your head. Ladies and gentlemen, the following. And you thought I was scary. Get a load of this jack wagon. for a full minute and I've already seen too much of him tonight. Oh, God. You want to talk about someone who just cannot get enough of himself. I, it's, it's scary. Folks, the professional wrestling circuit has always been a home to egomaniacal people. But this fella takes the cake. Never have I seen someone who is so convinced that he is royalty. I ask you, those of you who view the RWA on a regular basis,
can you show me a map and point to behead you? Honestly, I want to know where this kingdom is. I don't think it exists anywhere besides the facets of this guy's mind. And that, that, my friends, if it doesn't frighten you, well, then you scare me. Speaking of scary. Human super villain Dick Lane, I'll have you know. He wears himself a suit that allows him such supernaturals, unlike any other. I mean, I don't know how it's not banned. It's it, essentially the guy wearing his super space suit or whatever the hell it is, he, he, I think it's like a live circuit board. That's the equivalent of using unnatural supplements. At least it is, in my opinion. I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't see how, where you're wrong with that. It's, it's, the same, it's the same thing. Right? You know, you're a baseball guy. You know where I'm coming from. I know exactly it. where you're coming from. Also, I didn't have n nearly any of what of what the squeaky guy in the red shirt said about King Leon the Sixth. I didn't have all of those all of those things. What? What do you mean? Was it hard to decipher between? <laughs> He sounds like Edith Bunker on crack. I mean, I just, I don't. Whatever, you want to, you want to announce the match, it's fine. You want to, you want to do the, be the ring announcer, that's fine. We'll take the night off, like whatever. But that hurt. Blood shot from people's ears. I, I, we had to censor it, but it happened. Well, we're underway here, and all joking aside, the uh, meta human, the insane Dick Lane, his suit and all, taking on King Leon the Sixth. At least of this dimension, King Leon the Sixth of, of another dimension looked a lot different. What the hell was that all I about? No I, I came back and all of this like, all of this Battlestar Galactica stuff started <laughs> happening, <laughs> and uh, I just like, I'm getting too old for this. No, you know what happened, honestly. There was a Devil's Night where a fellow that kind of looked like you yeah. was actually the captain of the Starship Enterprise. Yeah, because I was sick that Devil's Night. Right. Yeah. You know? And then there was like another hairy-faced fellow. I, I forget what his name was. But it was since that night that the RWA has been suspect and it's susceptible to an alternate reality. Dick Lane is biting King Leo on the sixth hand. That's illegal. That's definitely illegal. Well, you missed it last month. He tried sticking a Tide Pod in Mike Montero's mouth. Montero counted it, put it in his face, and then punched him in the mouth. That that video would have been pulled from uh, from the YouTube's. They don't uh, they don't do those anymore. No. Now the kids are eating them apparently. Oh. When I was a kid, we just you know we wrestled in the backyard like that was. Yeah, we rode bikes. We right. played Pickup games. Yeah, don't try this at home. Really didn't refer to laundry detergent. As Dick Lane once again wraps up. King Leon the Sixth making a mockery of his royal highness. Well, he's really he's biting at his fingers. I don't know what has driven him to such lengths, but you know, Dick Lane has never been the, the shy type, if you will. That's very true, and a big right hand to Dick Lane off the ropes. Look at that. The meta human. Well, telegraph that one really. Go off that big body drop. Dick Lane takes down King Leon the Sixth. Oh, joking aside, done. cover one, two, and a kick out. Impressive by Dick Lane. Well, is this thing on our table here, this belt, going to send us back in time or something? Whatever you do, don't touch it. I'm not going to. Where's Frank, where's Frank the Crank? Frank the Crank has not been around since he was, like, the co-champion of this title. Right. He actually accidentally started a parallel universal rumble match. It was fucking crazy. I, you missed a lot of shit, pal. I, I mean, you know. I'm not sure I want to catch you up to all of it either. <laughs> we don't have the time <laughs> or the editing space at the end of the room floor. <laughs> Dick Lane laying in the right hands to King Leon the Sixth, and the King not taking too kindly to that. Muscled his way out of the buckles. And it looks like it's going to. Oh, he was going for that uh, stockade suplex. Nobody home. Dick Lane. Shots to the midsection again, stomping. King Leon the sixth and Dick Lane, nowhere to go. Big Got grab. Stagging, hanging by the belt. Oh, what a big slam. Here's a cover. One, two, and a kick out just at two. 
overhead reverse fall away slam. Very well done by King Leo in the sixth. You know, this guy's certainly known for his ego, for being uh, boisterous to say the least. But when you break down his ring anatomy, it's really very effective. The guy can move for a big fella. He's very strong, and at times he will get technical. And he'll bend a ruler to at that. Ah, uh, shocking. <laughs> it's good to be the king. Yeah, it certainly is. Hey, now he's. Oh, oh, shot right to the face there, looking for that chop. I don't get the licking of the hand. I don't either, but I think what he was doing is he was throwing Dick Lane off, who was bracing himself for one of those nasty, you know, open hand chops to the chest. And now he's just staggered ever since that right hand to the jaw. Off, off the ropes. ropes. Big back elbow there by King Leon the sixth. And now into, I want to say a rear naked choke. And at the head, nope, it's a rear naked choke, absolutely. Trying to put Dick Lane out. And you wonder, as he likes to tout the powers of that suit, right now it's, it's either deactivated or it's just not doing its job. Well, I believe most like uh, other electronic devices, it needs to charge up. And Dick Lane has got it caught off at the knees, figuratively speaking, literally with that signature back elbow of his just driving Lane back down to the mat. He cannot gain more wind in his sails. Every time he tries to fight his way back into this matchup, Leon the Six just has a means of chopping him down. And I misspoke earlier, uh, this is not for the Interdimensional Championship. This is a non-title match, but a victory here by King Leon the Six, who just wants to rule the entire RWA, would put him in prime spot for a title match. Well, it's not just the RWA. He's looking to get his... And there's a squire. Oh, it's, it's a squire hanging up. Dick Lane. The squire who eliminated a man in our rumble. And and and, and then was, was immediately thrown out. Well, he has been the right-hand man of the king. Cover, Cover one, two, and a kick out just a two. Squire admonishing a fan as Dick Lane trying to fire up here against King Leon the sixth, catching the king, going for that neck breaker, nobody home. Counter for counter, reversal for reversal. Big pump, and could this, it looks like the king is setting up, and it could be, it is that stockade suplex. Beautifully done. Cover, cover. one, two, and a kick out just to two. And the King asking our referee if he knows how to count to three. And Dick Lane, hand on the throat of King Leon the Here sixth. There it is, the signature force chokehold of Dick Lane. He's up goes the King, up. nobody home. Oh, what a right hand, knocked the uh, headband right off Dick Lane. And the King fighting off Dick Lane, big super kick. Dick Lane still on his feet thanks to that suit being caught. And a stunner takes down. King Leon the sixth. These guys have thrown the proverbial kitchen sink at one another. Dick Lane has been fighting since the very opening bell, and I think he may have Leon the sixth where he needs it. Dick Lane trying to get back up to a vertical base. He is, and I believe that suit is now fully charged. You can see it on his face. He's ready for war. There now, it is. That forced choke on King Leon the sixth. And here comes the Squire. The Squire is, well, the Squire's in a lot of trouble. The Squire's about to go for the run. And down goes the Squire, a forced choke slam. And Leon the Six capitalizes on the distraction. Up, up and with his head. Here's a cover. One, two, three. I got to do that since the Squire's down and it seems hurt. Yeah, he, he, he's a little preoccupied right now, but going back to this matchup, Rob, seriously, I mean, King Leon the sixth has just been an absolute driving force since he's shown up at the RWA, claiming it as his home base as he starts his crusade throughout New England. And you know what? They know him as far up north as the great state of Maine. And while well, speaking of the great state of Maine, wonderful segue, big time segue, the Maine State Posse are in the house here tonight. 
as the squire takes his his things and the jewelry and everything from King Leon the sixth the squire and it works for wear Squire, not known to be the more graceful of the two. No, but that's what happens when you get a uh, wardrobe from Steve Mom. Steve Mom. Who the hell is Steve? I, no, that's the Steve's mom. It, it's a, like a land. Steve's mom. It's like behead you, but like weirder. Wait, wait, what in the world? I don't know. As per usual, uh, uh, Rob, we don't know what's going on. I know this music. Uh, I definitely know that. Uh, it's it's Tom Billington, shillelagh in hand. What in the world does he have on his mind? Nothing good. Wait a minute. That's the unbalanced Messiah, Christopher Dozer. Now, he was the one that took Tom Billington out of the casket a couple of weeks ago. And no! Billington just shillelaghed the insane Dick Lane. These two were friends, they were teammates. And well, it seems as if there is a new chief in town. Tom Billington laying into the insane Dick Lane. And Billington, oh, with a spike, sends the champ to the ground. This is, this is an absolute melee, folks. News to us as it happens right before our very eyes. Both members of the epidemic, it's Billington is just letting absolute fury loose on a dick lane right now. And Christopher Doza could not be happier. Look at that shitty grit on his face. Not a fan of Chris Doza. I, no. I, no, I, 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 I've, really I've, I've seen the tapes. I, I can't stand him with a hot dog on the back of his neck. Tom Billington has the interdimensional championship. I, I, I hope that doesn't do anything weird around this. We're too close. Oh, uh, no. Wait, what Billington, the hell? what the hell is a he doing? Double underhook, a is he going for a package pile driver oh on the God. interdimensional championship? Someone needs to get someone like back out here now. Would you uh, want to come out here and break this up? No. You, I don't, you're closer. But I would like to know who runs this place. I don't even know who runs this giant anymore. Jesus Christ up in heaven. You can see components of this interdimensional championship just... Just destroyed and shattering in front of us. Frank the Crank, we miss you. Versus reality. <laughs> the perception that Dick Lane is a meta human super villain is a crock of crap. <laughs> the reality is that man is a thief. How do you think it? I think he's gonna tell you. He stole. Tom Billington's friendship. Oh, what? He stole a year of his life. What? Oh, and and to top it off, he stole his technology. Uh -oh. That's one way of phrasing it. The interdimensional championship. Used as a carnival sideshow attraction to placate you people. You are scum! You deserve nothing! And nothing is exactly what you're gonna get. He will be the first to fall at the feet of the terror, Tom Billington, but he will not! I repeat, he will! Don't watch this carnival of carnage. Shut up. We will strangle, wither, and choke anyone who gets in our path. And as for the RWA interdimensional portal. Oh, come on. You, you've proven your point. No, we haven't. Sit down and shut up. This is not the time or place for this! He ought to be ashamed of himself! There's no, no shame whatsoever. Billy Kid goes after the title with a... officially been closed! All 
All right. Fly, Pelican. Oh, God. How do you make a monster? I didn't have to. Strong words, stronger actions from Tom Billington and the unbalanced messiah, Christopher Dozer. This is just, this has just been absolutely obscene. Oh man, there's just there, there's no reason for this. Enough is enough. You want to split up as a tag team, split up as a tag team, but usually a super kick does that. Like you know, not not that barbershop window, me. Right, you know. Yeah, God up in heaven. It, and like I alluded to before, that the parallel universes that we've been subject to in the RWA, that's been taking place. With that the interdimensional championship being destroyed, I don't think we're going to have a whole lot of that going on anymore. And we lost Frank the Crank in the process. Folks, this has been our 2018 Night of Appreciation. You never know what to expect at the RWA.